Hi there, welcome to Balcom Robotics. Today I'm going to show you a project that I've been working on, an automated ball catcher. The idea is simple, launch a ball, track the ball, catch the ball. Let's check out the system in action and then I'll explain how it works. So this system has three parts, a launcher, a cart, and a camera. The launcher here uses rubber bands and this little pocket thing here in order to hold the ball. The pocket is held in place using this pin right back here. That pin is pulled out using the motor and this gearing mechanism right here, which will lift the pin up and up and up, does it very quickly, and launches. Here in the front we have the intelligent Lego NXT brick which is connected via that black cable back to my computer and we have the ultrasonic sensor here which is measuring the distance to the cart. This big flat panel on the front of the cart is used to make sure the ultrasonic sensor has a nice reading off of a flat surface and there's a nice big basket back here so that the ball will easily land inside. Down here you can see we have the gears which are driving the main drive axle of the cart. All said and done we have a gear ratio of 5 to 1 which lowers the torque quite a bit but gives a nice fast axle so that the cart will get up to speed very quickly. And in order to get up to speed very quickly we also have this long cable here that connects back to the NXT so that we don't have to carry the NXT with us. Last but not least, we have the camera, which is right up here, attached to my desk, which views all the action, passes that to my computer, and then sends that up to the main program, which is running. So let's check that out now. So you can see here we are in MATLAB, and I did all of my coding in MATLAB since I'm really familiar with it, and they have a lot of really useful built-in tools. You can download a package from MATLAB that will provide support for connecting to LEGO NXT devices, which is what I did here. This is my main code, which I'm going to run through for you and can show you how it works. First, we need to do some initialization. This initialization involves setting up a camera to grab frames from my webcam, doing a quick calibration, mostly loading the calibration parameters here, setting up a couple objects in MATLAB for some useful image analysis, and then there's a lot of parameters to set that I can tweak. And lastly, we set up the NXT by connecting to it and prepping the ultrasonic sensor. Once we've done that, we can use the ultrasonic sensor to get the start point of the cart, and that will let us get the distance to the cart and use that for figuring out how far the cart has moved relative to the launcher. Once that's all ready, we can go ahead and launch the ball by sending the motor commands to launch the ball and pausing for a quarter of a second to let the ball start moving. This here is the main loop that runs and controls everything going on in the code here. So what we do here is we grab a frame from the camera and then use a masking function to pull out all the red stuff from that frame. And this masking function was made using MATLAB's built-in mask tool, which is really useful. Once we do that, we can go ahead and push this into the blob analyzer and that will return the ball location and the bounding box around the ball. Once we have that, we can take this two-dimensional location of the ball and turn that into a three-dimensional location of a ball, which you can do using um, the standard camera projection equation, which you can find in any sort of computer vision textbook. Once we've done that, we can check to see if the ball has already reached the ground, which is useful because if the ball's already hit the ground, that means we've either caught it or we haven't, but either way, we can go ahead and stop the code from running. This is some basic uh, collecting data together and then we can do a live preview of what's going on on the screen if we want. And now here we can actually do some analysis of the flight path. So from standard physics, you'll know that uh, projectile motion you can capture using a parabolic trajectory. So once we have three points here, we can fit a parabola here in the y direction and a linear term in the x direction. This means that using this equation in the y direction, we can calculate when the ball will land on the ground, in this case we're defining the ground as the height of the cart because that's how high we want the ball to be when we catch it. And once we know how long it's going to take to have that happen, we can figure out how far it's going to move. So once we have this estimate, 
of where the ball is going to land, we can then control how the ball, how the cart, excuse me, is going to get there. So we have an estimate of where the ball is going to land, and we can do some math to basically figure out how far we have to have the cart move to get to that point. Using a standard proportional controller, we can calculate the power needed to move the cart to that location, and then do some basic control here. And once we've reached the location, we can stop the motor and hopefully catch the ball. Once that loop exits, we just do a little bit of cleanup here, stopping the motors, cleaning up all the objects and stuff, and then a couple overview plots that are useful for debugging. And that's pretty much it. I know this is just a brief overview, but if you want more information, you can check out my website at falconrobotics.com. I'll put a link in the description. On my site, I go into a lot more detail on the challenges and problems I faced when making this system. I also have a lot more pictures as well as links to my code on GitHub. If you'd like to just look at the code in more detail or download it and try it for yourself, feel free to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment down below. Also, you can subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more projects that have coming in the future.